a map depicting the locations of the Turkish Straits, with the Bosporus in red, and the Dardanelles in yellow. The territory of Turkey is highlighted in green. Location of the Bosporus relative to the Dardanelles and the Sea of Marmara. Zero close-up satellite image of the Bosporus Strait, taken from the International Space Station in April 2004. The body of water at the top is the Black Sea, the one at the bottom is the Marmara Sea, and the Bosporus is the winding waterway that connects the two. The western banks of the Bosporus constitute the geographic starting point of the European continent, while the banks to the east are the geographic beginnings of the continent of Asia. The city of Istanbul is visible along both banks. Aerial view of the Bosporus taken from its northern end near the Black Sea, looking south toward the Marmara Sea, with the city center of Istanbul visible along the Straits hilly banks. The Bosporus or Bosphorus, also known as the Strait of Istanbul, Turkish, Istanbul Bogus. Colloquially Bogus, is a narrow, natural strait and an internationally significant waterway located in northwestern Turkey. It forms part of the continental boundary between Europe and Asia, and divides Turkey by separating Anatolia from Thrace. It is the world's narrowest strait used for international navigation. The Bosporus connects the Black Sea with the Sea of Marmara, and, by extension via the Dardanelles, the Aegean and Mediterranean Seas, and by the Kerch Strait, the Sea of Azov. Most of the shores of the strait, except for those in the north, are heavily settled, straddled by the city of Istanbul's metropolitan population of 17 million inhabitants extending inland from both coasts. Together with the Dardanelles, the Bosporus forms the Turkish Straits. The name of the channel comes from the ancient Greek Beta Sigma Pi Omicron Rho Omicron Sigma, which was folk etymologized as Beta Omicron Sigma Pi Rho Omicron Sigma, I. E. Cattle Strait, from the genitive of Bu Beta Omicron Sigma Ox, Cattle plus porous pi rho omicron sigma passage, thus meaning cattle passage, or cow passage. This is in reference to the mythological story of Io, who was transformed into a cow, and was subsequently condemned to wander the earth until she crossed the Bosporus, where she met the titan Prometheus. Who comforted her with the information that she would be restored to human form by Zeus and become the ancestress of the greatest of all heroes, Heracles. The site where Io supposedly went ashore was near Chrysopolis, and was named Boo the Cow. The same site was also known as Damalus, as it was where the Athenian general Ceres had erected a monument to his wife Damalus, which included a colossal statue of a cow. The English spelling with ph, Bosphor has no justification in the ancient Greek name, and dictionaries prefer the spelling with p but ph occurs as a variant in medieval Latin. And in medieval Greek sometimes as beta sigma phi omicron rho omicron sigma, giving rise to the French form Bosphor, Spanish Bosphoro and Russian. The 12th century Greek scholar John Setzes calls it Damaliton Bosporon, but he also reports that in popular usage the strait was known as Prosperine during his day, the name of the most ancient northern harbour of Constantinople. Historically, the Bosporus was also known as the Strait of Constantinople, or the Thracian Bosporus, in order to distinguish it from the Sumerian Bosporus in Crimea. These are expressed in Herodotus's histories, 4. 83, as Bosporus Thracius, Bosporus Thraci, and beta sigma pi omicron rho omicron sigma theta rho kappa iota omicron sigma, respectively. Other names by which the strait is referenced by Herodotus include Chalcedony and Bosporus, or Mesian Bosporus. The term eventually came to be used as common noun beta sigma pi omicron rho omicron sigma, meaning a strait, and was also formerly applied to the Hellespont in classical Greek by Aeschylus and Sophocles. As a maritime waterway, the Bosporus connects various seas along the eastern Mediterranean, the Balkans, the Near East and Western Eurasia, and specifically connects the Black Sea to the Sea of Marmara. The Marmara further connects to the Aegean and Mediterranean seas via the Dardanelles. Thus, the Bosporus allows maritime connections from the Black Sea all the way to the Mediterranean Sea in the Atlantic Ocean via Gibraltar, and the Indian Ocean through the Suez Canal. Making it a crucial international waterway, in particular for the passage of goods coming in from Russia. The exact cause and date of the formation of the Bosporus remain the subject of debate among geologists. One recent hypothesis, dubbed the Black Sea Deluge Hypothesis, which was launched by a study of the same name in 1997 by two scientists from Columbia University, postulates that the Bosporus was flooded around 5600 BCE when the rising waters of the Mediterranean Sea and the Sea of Marmara breached through to the Black Sea, which at the time, according to the hypothesis, was a low-lying body of fresh water. Many geologists, however, claim that the strait is much older, even if relatively young on a geologic timescale. 
From the perspective of ancient Greek mythology, it was said that colossal floating rocks known as the Simplegades, or clashing rocks, once occupied the hilltops on both sides of the Bosporus and destroyed any ship that attempted passage of the channel by rolling down the Straits Hills and violently crushing all vessels between them. The Simplegades were defeated when the hero Jason obtained successful passage, whereupon the rocks became fixed, and Greek access to the Black Sea was opened. The limits of the Bosporus are defined as the connecting line between the lighthouses of Rameli Feneri and Anadolu Feneri in the north, and between the Arkap Feneri and the Cade Koi and Subernu Feneri in the south. Between these limits, the strait is 31 kilometers long, with a width of 3,329 meters at the northern entrance and 2,826 meters at the southern entrance. Its maximum width is 3,420 meters between Umur Yeri and Buyukdir Liman, and minimum width 700 meters between Kandili Point and Asian. The depth of the Bosporus varies from 13 to 110 meters in midstream with an average of 65 meters. The deepest location is between Kandili and Bebek with 110 meters. The shallowest locations are off Cape Koi and Sabernu on the northward route with 18 meters and off Asian Point on the southward route with 13 meters. The smallest section is on a sill located in front of Dolmabas Palace. It is around 38,000 square meter. The southbound flow is 16 plus 000 cubic meter per second and the northbound flow is 11 plus 000 cubic meter per second. Some even speak about a Black Sea undersea river. The Golden Horn is an estuary off the main strait that historically acted as a moat to protect Constantinople from attack, as well as providing a sheltered anchorage for the imperial navies of various empires until the 19th century. After which it became a historic neighborhood at the heart of the city, popular with tourists and locals alike. It had been known since before the 20th century that the Black Sea and the Sea of Marmara flow into each other in a geographic example of density. Flow, and in August 2010, a continuous underwater channel of suspension composition was discovered to flow along the floor of the Bosporus. Which would be the sixth largest river on Earth if it were to be on land. The study of the water and wind erosion of the straits relates to that of its formation. Sections of the shore have been reinforced with concrete or rubble and sections of the strait prone to deposition are periodically dredged. The 2010 team of scientists, led by the University of Leeds, used a robotic yellow submarine to observe detailed flows within an undersea river, scientifically referred to as a submarine channel, for the first time. Submarine channels are similar to land rivers, but they are formed by density currents, underwater flow mixtures of sand, mud and water that are denser than seawater and so sink and flow along the bottom. These channels are the main transport pathway for sediments to the deep sea where they form sedimentary deposits. These deposits ultimately hold not only untapped reserves of gas and oil, they also house important secrets, from clues on past climate change to the ways in which mountains were formed. The team studied the detailed flow within these channels and findings included, the channel complex and the density flow provide the ideal natural laboratory for investigating and detailing the structure of the flow field through the channel. Our initial findings show that the flow in these channels is quite different to the flow in river channels on land. Specifically, as flow moves around a bend it spirals in the opposite direction in the deep sea compared to the spiral found in river channels on land. This is important in understanding the sedimentology and layers of sediment deposited by these systems. The central tenet of the Black Sea Deluge hypothesis is that as the ocean rose 72. 5 meters at the end of the last ice age when the massive ice sheets melted, the sealed Bosporus was overtopped in a spectacular flood that increased the then freshwater Black Sea Lake 50%, and drove people from the shores for many months. This was supported by findings of undersea explorer Robert Ballard, who discovered settlements along the old shoreline, scientists dated the flood to 7,500 BP or 5,500 BC from fresh saltwater microflora. The peoples driven out by the constantly rising water, which must have been terrifying and inexplicable, spread to all corners of the Western world carrying the story of a major flood. As the waters surged, they scoured a network of seafloor channels less resistant to denser suspended solids and liquid, which remains a very active layer today. The first images of these submarine channels were obtained in 1999, showing them to be of great size during a NATO Sakhalin undersea research project using jointly the NATO RV Alliance and the Turkish Navy survey ship Subuklu. In 2002, a survey was carried out on board the Afrimer RV La Surwa for Blasun project completed the multi-beam mapping of this underwater channel fan delta. A complete map was published in 2009 using these previous results with high-quality mapping obtained in 2006. 
The team will use the data obtained to create innovative computer simulations that can be used to model how sediment flows through these channels. The models the team will produce will have broad applications, including inputting into the design of seafloor engineering by oil and gas companies. The project was led by Jeff Peacall and Daniel Parsons at the University of Leeds, in collaboration with the University of Southampton, Memorial University of Newfoundland, and the Institute of Marine Sciences. The survey was run and coordinated from the Institute of Marine Sciences research ship, the RV Kojapiri race. As part of the only passage between the Black Sea and the Mediterranean, the Bosporus has always been of great importance from a commercial and military point of view, and remains strategically important today. It is a major sea access route for numerous countries, including Russia and Ukraine. Control over it has been an objective of a number of conflicts in modern history, notably the Russo-Turkish War, as well as of the attack of the Allied powers on the Dardanelles during the 1915 Battle of Gallipoli in the course of World War I. Map of Constantinople Designed in 1422 by Florentine cartographer Cristoforo Bundelmonti This is the oldest surviving map of the city, and the only surviving map that predates the Turkish conquest of 1453. The Bosporus is visible along the right-hand side of the map, wrapping vertically around the historic city. The strategic importance of the Bosporus dates back millennia. In the 5th century BC the Greek city-state of Athens, which depended on grain imports from the Black Sea ports of Scythia, maintained critical alliances with cities which controlled the straits, such as the Megarian colony Byzantium. Persian king Darius I the Great, in an attempt to subdue the Scythian horsemen who roamed across the north of the Black Sea, crossed the Bosporus, then marched towards the river Danube. His army crossed the Bosporus using an enormous bridge made by connecting Achaemenid boats. This bridge essentially connected the farthest geographic tip of Asia to Europe, encompassing at least some 1,000 meters of open water if not more. Years later, Xerxes I would construct a similar boat bridge on the Dardanelles Strait, during his invasion of Greece. The Byzantines called the Bosporus Stenon and used the following major toponyms in the area, the strategic significance of the strait was one of the factors in the decision of the Roman Emperor Constantine the Great to found there in AD 330 his new capital. Constantinople, which became the capital of the Eastern Roman Empire. The expression swim the Bosporus and cross the Bosporus were and are still used to indicate religious conversion to the Eastern Orthodox Church. The Bosphorus, with the castles of Europe and Asia. 19th century engraving by Thomas Allen. The castles are Rumeli Asar and Anadal Asar, respectively. The original is a watercolor available in the online collection of the Victoria and Albert Museum. On May 29, 1453, the then-emergent Ottoman Empire conquered the city of Constantinople following a lengthy campaign wherein the Ottomans constructed fortifications on each side of the strait. The Anadolisar and the Rumeli Asar, in preparation for not only the primary battle but to assert long-term control over the Bosporus and surrounding waterways. The final 53-day campaign, which resulted in Ottoman victory, constituted an important turn in world history. Together with Christopher Columbus's first voyage to the Americas in 1492, the 1453 conquest of Constantinople is commonly noted. As among the events that brought an end to the Middle Ages and marked the transition to the Renaissance and the Age of Discovery. The event also marked the end of the Byzantines, the final remnants of the Roman Empire, and the transfer of the control of the Bosporus into Ottoman hands. Who made Constantinople their new capital? and from where they expanded their empire in the centuries that followed. At its peak between the 16th and 18th centuries, the Ottoman Empire had used the strategic importance of the Bosporus to expand their regional ambitions and to wrest control of the entire Black Sea area, which they regarded as an Ottoman lake, on which Russian warships were prohibited. Subsequently, several international treaties have governed vessels using the waters. Under the Treaty of Hunker Iskelesi of July 8, 1833, the Bosporus and Dardanelles Straits were to be closed on Russian demand to naval vessels of other powers. By the terms of the London Straits Convention concluded on July 13, 1841, between the great powers of Europe, Russia, the United Kingdom, France, Austria and Prussia, the ancient rule of the Ottoman Empire was re-established by closing the Turkish Straits to any and all warships, barring those of the Sultan's allies during wartime. It thus benefited British naval power at the expense of Russian, as the latter lacked direct access for its navy to the Mediterranean. Following the First World War, the 1920 Treaty of Sever demilitarized the strait and made it an international territory under the control of the League of Nations. 
This was amended under the Treaty of Lausanne, which restored the Straits to Turkish territory, but allowed all foreign warships and commercial shipping to traverse the Straits freely. Turkey eventually rejected the terms of that treaty, and subsequently Turkey remilitarized the Straits area. The reversion was formalized under the Montreux Convention regarding the regime of the Turkish Straits of July 20, 1936. That convention, which is still in force, treats the Straits as an international shipping lane save that Turkey retains the right to restrict the naval traffic of non-Black Sea states. Turkey was neutral in the Second World War until February 1945, and the Straits were close to the warships of belligerent nations during this time, although some German auxiliary vessels were permitted to transit. In diplomatic conferences, Soviet representatives had made known their interest in Turkish concession of Soviet naval bases on the Straits. This, as well as Stalin's demands for the restitution of the Turkish provinces of Kars, Artvin and Artahan to the Soviet Union, which were lost by Turkey in the Russo-Turkish War of 1877-1878, but were regained with the Treaty of Kars in 1921, were considerations in Turkey's decision to abandon neutrality in foreign affairs. Turkey declared war against Germany in February 1945, but did not engage in offensive actions. Turkey joined NATO in 1952, thus affording its straits even more strategic importance as a commercial and military waterway. During the early 21st century, the Turkish straits have become particularly important for the oil industry. Russian oil, from ports such as Novorossiysk, is exported by tankers primarily to Western Europe and the US via the Bosporus and the Dardanelles Straits. In 2011 Turkey planned a 50 km canal through Silivri as a second waterway, reducing risk in the Bosporus. Bosphorus Bridge, the first to be built across the Bosphorus, completed in 1973 Fadi Sultan Mehmet Bridge, the second crossing built in 1988. As seen from the Rumelian Castle on the Bosphorus Yavuz Sultan Selim Bridge, the third and most recent crossing, in September 2016. The bridge was opened on August 26, 2016. The waters of the Bosphorus are traversed by numerous passenger and vehicular ferries daily, as well as recreational and fishing boats ranging from dinghies to yachts owned by both public and private entities. The strait also experiences significant amounts of international commercial shipping traffic by freighters and tankers. Between its northern limits at Rumeli Feneri and Anadolu Feneri and its southern ones at Arkap Feneri and Kaidkoy and Sabernu Feneri. There are numerous dangerous points for large-scale maritime traffic that require sharp turns and management of visual obstructions. Famously, the stretch between Kandili Point and Asian requires a 45-degree course alteration in a location where the currents can reach 7 to 8 knots. To the south, at Yenikoy, the necessary course alteration is 80 degrees. Compounding these difficult changes in trajectory, the rear and forward sight lines at Kandili and Yenikoy are also completely blocked prior to and during the course alteration. Making it impossible for ships approaching from the opposite direction to see around these bends. The risks posed by geography are further multiplied by the heavy ferry traffic across the strait, linking the European and Asian sides of the city. As such, all the dangers and obstacles characteristic of narrow waterways are present and acute in this critical sea lane. In 2011, the Turkish government discussed creating a large-scale canal project roughly 80 kilometers long that runs north-south through the western edges of Istanbul province as a second waterway between the Black Sea and the Marmara. Intended to reduce risk in the Bosphorus. This Kanao istanbul project currently continues to be debated. Two suspension bridges and a cable-stayed bridge cross the Bosphorus. The first of these, the 15th July Martyrs Bridge, is 1,074 meters long and was completed in 1973. The second, named Fadi Sultan Mehmet Bridge, is 1,090 meters long, and was completed in 1988 about 5 kilometers north of the first bridge. The first Bosphorus Bridge forms part of the O1 motorway, while the Fadi Sultan Mehmet Bridge forms part of the Trans-European Motorway. The third, Yavuz Sultan Selim Bridge, is 2,164 meters long and was completed in 2016. It is located near the northern end of the Bosphorus, between the villages of Garips on the European side and Poyoskoy on the Asian side, as part of the Northern Marmara Motorway. Integrated with the existing Black Sea Coastal Highway, and allowing transit traffic to bypass city traffic. The Marmara project, featuring a 13.7 km long undersea railway tunnel, opened on October 29, 2013. Approximately 1,400 meters of the tunnel runs under the strait, at a depth of about 55 meters. An undersea water supply tunnel with a length of 5,551 meters, named the Bosporus Water Tunnel, 
was constructed in 2012 to transfer water from the Melon Creek in Dizje province to the European side of Istanbul, a distance of 185 kilometers. The Eurasia Tunnel is a 5.4 kilometers undersea highway tunnel, crossing the Bosphorus for vehicular traffic, between Kızılcım and Göztepe. Construction began in February 2011, and was opened on December 20, 2016. Up to four submarine fiber optics lines approach Istanbul, coming from the Mediterranean through the Dardanelles. The Bosphorus is the only way for Bulgaria, Georgia, Romania, Russia and Ukraine to reach the Mediterranean Sea and other seas. Thus sovereignty over the straits is an important issue for these countries, let alone Turkey, the state the Bosphorus runs itself flows through. Since it is a favorable region in terms of climate and geography, the area has been widely settled for much of recorded history. The city of Istanbul, divided by the Bosphorus, is one of the few intercontinental cities in the world. Turkey receives tolls from ships passing through the strait contrary to what Recep Tayyip Erdogan says to fit his narrative to build the Istanbul Canal. Under the Montreux Convention regarding the regime of the straits, in Annex I the first article, it states that Turkey can tax the ships. It explicitly states that it can tax in gold which is currently not the case. The revenue can rise exponentially if Turkey asks gold instead of US dollars. Turkey's military has broad powers in accordance with Montreux Convention. In the present, Bosphorus Command is located on the shores of the Bosphorus and the military ships connected to the command are anchored in the Bosphorus waters. Located on a peninsula at the intersection of the Black Sea, the Bosphorus and the Marmara Sea, Istanbul has been one of the most protected and hardest to conquer cities for centuries, from the first Roman times to the Ottoman Empire, to today. The Bosphorus has 620 waterfront houses built during the Ottoman period along the Straits European and Asian shorelines. Ottoman palaces such as the Topkap Palace, Dolomos Palace, Oz Palace, Surgan Palace, Ferry Palaces, Baylor Bayi Palace, Kusuksu Palace, Ilamor Palace, Hatije Sultan Palace, Adile Sultan Palace and Kadiva Palace are within its view. Buildings and landmarks within view include the Hagia Sophia, Hagia Irene, Sultan Ahmed Mosque, Yeni Mosque, KLS Ali Pasha Mosque, Nisreshe Mosque, Dolmabas. Mosque, Ordokoy Mosque, Uskadar Myrima Sultan Mosque, Yeni Valid Mosque, Maidens Tower, Balata Tower, Rumelian Castle, Anatolian Castle, Yoros Castle. Salimiye Barracks, Sak Sabank Museum, Sad Burkhan Museum, Istanbul Museum of Modern Art, Borusan Museum of Contemporary Art, Tafane Ayamir Museum. Mimar Shinan Fine Arts University, Galatasaray University, Boazici University, Robert College, Kabatas High School. Kaleli Military High School. Two points in Istanbul have most of the public ferries that traverse the strait, from Emmanuel on the historic peninsula of Istanbul to Anadolu Kavag near the Black Sea. Zigzagging and calling briefly multiple times at the Rumelian and Anatolian sides of the city. At Central Pier Shorter, regular ride in one of the public ferries cross. Private ferries operate between Uskadar and Besiktas or Kabatas in the city. The few well-known geographic hazards are multiplied by ferry traffic across the strait, linking the European and Asian sides of the city, particularly for the largest ships. The catamaran Cebuses offer high-speed commuter services between the European and Asian shores of the Bosphorus, but they stop at fewer ports and piers in comparison to the public ferries. Both the public ferries and the Cebuses also provide commuter services between the Bosphorus and the Prince Islands in the Sea of Marmara. There are also tourist rides available in various places along the coast of the Bosphorus. The prices vary according to the type of the ride, and some feature loud popular music for the duration of the trip. The architectural style of the Bosphorus began to be shaped by simple houses in the fishing villages established on the coast during the Byzantine period. The mansions, which were placed on the shores during the Ottoman period, became one of the most outstanding examples of Bosphorus architecture and have been identified with the Bosphorus for years. The number of mansions built on the two sides of the Bosphorus for centuries and has reached today is about 360. Today, the majority of them still preserves their old forms, are among the most expensive real estate both in Turkey and Istanbul. Many palace buildings has also built in the Bosphorus, which was one of the most popular places of the palace people during the Ottoman period. Dolmabaz Palace, Sergan Palace, Bailerbayi Palace, Adile Sultan Palace, Kusuksu Pavilion and Beykoz Masijiye Pavilion are some of most striking structures used by sultans and their relatives from time to time. Historical buildings such as Galatasaray University, 
Egyptian Consulate and Saks Sebank Museum are among the most famous architectural examples of the Bosphorus. In the Ottoman era there was a tradition of building mosques and pier squares as well as pier buildings in the important districts of the Bosphorus. Beşiktaş Pier, Ordukoy Square, Ordukoy Mosque, Bebek Mosque, Vailerbeyi Mosque and Semsipasa Mosque are some of traces from that tradition. Thanks for watching.